Minu was eating some tasty and juicy mangoes and when she offered Buzz, Buzz was very surprised to find that how are these mangoes made or from where do we get these mangoes. So Minu told him that we get mangoes from the trees like those. So when they were eating the mangoes and they had almost finished eating, they found that they had left this seed. So Buzz asked, can we grow a mango tree from this seed? And guess what? The seed started speaking and he said, yes, you can grow the mango tree by sowing me into the soil, right? And so how do we do grow the mangoes? We grow them by sowing them into the soil. Now here he was explaining that their grandma had sowed his sister's seed into this soil. But the children were amazed that there is no baby plant come out yet. So they tried checking it out. So when... The seed started knocking and talking. He found that there was somebody whose voice came out. And she told that she is inside the soil only. But she has not come out due to some reason. And what are those reasons? Because it was still not time for her to come out. And because of which she was still sleeping inside. And she needed approximately two more days to come out. So the children and the seed agreed that they will come back after two days to check the seed that whether the plant has grown out of the seed or not. After two days, Buzz immediately rushed and found a tiny plant that has grown out of the soil. Wow! So he immediately called everyone and they found a very beautiful plant over there that, and that has been grown from the sister seed. That means this is how a seed grows. And it comes out of the soil when you sow it into the soil. So, one thing about to think is that how these big trees are grown from the small plant. Just like humans grow from the child and just like small animals grow into big animals. That's how the small plants grow into big trees. Now, let us try and see how these plants are grown. For that, Minu has got a very nice spot, right? And what we are going to do now, the next step is we are going to do a small hole at the bottom of the pot. And why so? Because plants have roots and the roots need air, right? And for air passage, we need to have a small hole. So we have made a small hole just below the or you can say just at the bottom of the pot. And once we are done that, the next step is filling the pot with the mud. So now the next step is going to fill the pot with some mud. Once we have filled the pot with mud, what is the next step? Now the next step is putting the seed or sowing the seed. So Buzz has got a seed along with him. So let us put that and sow the seed. So we have sown the seed also in mud. Now Buzz says that Minu has already sown the seed. So that means now the tiny plant will just come out in some days. But the seed is still telling us that it is not yet done. Now just like we need food, water and air to live, similarly these plants need air, water and sunlight to grow. So we have to provide these plants some sunlight also, we need to water them also and the air is definitely present around them. So what can be done? Definitely Minu is going to water it now. So she has started watering it. Now she is going to put it outside the house so that the plant gets proper amount of light, air, right? Light from the sun, the air around and she has already watered the plant. So definitely after some days, a little plant will come out of the soil that we have put into the pot. So there are different ways of growing a plant. Some plants are grown by sowing a seed like this. There are some plants which are grown by planting their stems just like sugarcane plant, right? There are some plants through whose roots are just sown into the soil, right? And we know now that plants need sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. Now, what's next? There are some plants which need food. Now, what do I mean by food? They not only need water, but some plants are there who eat other insects, mosquitoes, flies and even rats. So this is a pitcher plant over here. It does not have teeth to eat but it can just swallow, right? It has a leaf at its mouth which opens up 
and when the insect or the fly is sitting anywhere it just closes down as you can just see and just immediately it closes down and the leaf never opens again so that's how there are plants that even eat other insects and animals oh, that was something new we have learned right now we need these seeds for so many things these days we eat the leaves we eat the seeds fruits right of all these plants now we know that there are many spices made up of these seeds and we also eat some seeds in the form of sprouts in the breakfast right so we know that seeds can be used in different way but how are these seeds transferred from one place to another just like raja was carrying something in his mouth what was he carrying he was carrying seeds from one place to another similarly there are many other animals and birds that carry seeds from one place to another place right definitely even the birds will do that so this is how the seeds are transferred from one place to another even we get some fruits or get some seeds from one place when we have gone just like when chinu had gone to nagpur he had got oranges from nagpur and so he has got seeds from nagpur right in the same way even the seeds are transported from one country to another country by ships by aeroplanes and so on just like these potatoes tomatoes and chilies from south america from europe we get the cauliflower and the peas we get these uh, coffee and lady finger from south africa and we have mangoes oranges and bananas we from our own country right just like these lettuce methi and radish so we have learned so much about seeds 